Welcome to Film Friday. I am Matt Verderam, and today we are looking at the best play, the last play from the Chiefs' 32-24 overtime win over the one-win Houston Texans in a game that the result was great, the process was not, and we all lost 10 years off our lives from stress. All right, let's get into the Jarek McKinnon touchdown run. Okay, so this one's really straightforward, but it shows how cohesive you have to be to make something like a 26-yard touchdown run work in the NFL. And I want to point out a group that's been maligned at times, the offensive line, and also want to point out why Jerk McKinnon is such a valuable player beyond just his pass blocking and, and pass catching capabilities. And so when you look at this play, you're going to see the Chiefs in just traditional 11 personnel, okay? Kelsey's not even in the field. There's Noah Gray. He's right next to Orlando Brown. He's off the line of scrimmage. On the line of scrimmage, there's Juju Smith-Schuster. And the man who's starting to go into motion is Sky Moore. And you have Watson down at the bottom of the screen at the moment, the only man at the bottom of the screen. This is a very condensed formation. Nobody's outside the numbers. Nobody's outside the numbers for either side. So there's a lot of traffic in the middle of the field. And that's where this run's going. This run is going to be an inside run. Um, you would not think, looking at this alignment, that she's popped this for a touchdown. The Texans have seven guys right at the line of scrimmage. Now, one of them is about to go in motion with, with Sky Moore. But the point is, Houston's expecting a run here. I mean, the Chiefs are expected to be conservative. All they need is a field goal, which, of course, was not easy to come by on Sunday. So everyone in the world knows the Chiefs are about to run the ball or that they're very likely to run the ball. And when we run it here in a minute, what I want you guys to watch is the line play, specifically Brown, Tooney, Humphrey, and Smith. OK, those guys are the key to this play, not to say Wiley doesn't get a block, but Wiley's on the backside of the play. It's really those four that do the heavy lifting. OK, Gray, he's going to come down the line of scrimmage. He's going to try to pin a backer on the backside, which he does. Smith Schuster, we're going to get to him a little later in this play. He makes a terrific block that kind of springs the play for a touchdown. So just a big gain. And so. What you're going to see initially is when Moore goes in motion, he takes a defender with him, right? So he lightens the box by one. And what you're also going to see is when the play, when the ball snapped, you're going to see Brown kick his guy out to the outside. You're going to see Tooney climb to the second level, which of course isn't a huge climb with the with the Texans showing uh, pressure from the backer. Okay. And he's going to help create that seal. But Humphrey's the guy who makes this play. He gets what's called a reach block. It's hard to tell here, but the, the nose tackle is shaded toward Humphrey's left-hand side. Okay? Humphrey's got to make a, a really hard block, the hardest block there is in football. He's got to be able to get to the nose tackle's right shoulder, so the far side shoulder. Okay? And he's got to be able to wall them off and turn them back so that essentially so that his back is, is facing us. He's got to turn him out of the hole. The hardest block in football. So let's run it a little bit. Okay. You're going to see more going motion, hand off to McKinnon. Now, you already can start to see it here, right? If you're looking at Brown, Brown's got the seal. Perfect block. Perfect positioning. He's good to go. Tooney's climbed to the second level, as has, by the way, Trey Smith. OK, both of those guys standing up at the 26 yard line. Brown has kicked his man out. Humphrey, if you look right there in the middle, OK, with Gray coming out behind him to, to come down and pin the backer. Humphrey's getting that reach block. He's working on it right now. If he doesn't get that block, this play is blown up for a loss. There's no other way around it. If Humphrey doesn't get that block, this is a, a yard or two loss. OK, he's got to get the block. Now, as we run it a little bit more, you're going to see he gets it. He turns him, and it creates that tiny lane for McKinnon. Now, this is where I want to point out something about Jarek McKinnon. Wiley essentially got beat on this play, okay? He got beat off the side. Now, all he's got to do is somewhat get in the way here to make it work, and he barely does that, but he does it. If you look at Brown and Tooney, okay, 57 and 62, number one in your hearts, you see their backs. It's perfect. It is a lane. It is a wall. You look at the 26-yard line, okay, you see Trey Smith, who's basically by himself in the middle of the field. He's driving his guy out of the way. 
But McKinnon has a very narrow lane here, okay? As Toon, excuse me, as, as Humphrey has now gotten that reach block, okay, he's turned his man. It's such a narrow lane. McKinnon's not only got to have very good vision, he's got to have explosiveness, he's got to have quickness. He doesn't have those things. That that gap's going to close. He's going to get stuck for a loss. Mind you, the line of scrimmage is the 26 yard line, right? He's at the 30 at the moment. So what you're also now going to start noticing is Juju Smith-Schuster, who's standing at about the 21-yard line. Okay, His guy is going to be the last line of defense here. Watch the block that Smith-Schuster makes and watch how this, this lane continues to develop here as we run it. Okay, Nice job. Now, Smith, he's staying on his man. Mind you, Smith, of course, the right guard. All the way on the other side of the field, he's doing a hell of a job walling off his guy. Tooney and Brown couldn't do a better job here. Gray got his guy. He's pinned the backer. Okay, But look at Juju. If Juju takes this play off, it's still a, it's a good play, but it's not a home run, right? Or at least it's not unless McKinnon makes a guy miss an open space. Now, Juju, as we know, because McKinnon talked about it after the game, told him, you follow my block, you get in the, get in the end zone. Well, he lived up to his promise. Okay, Juju's blocking his guy a good eight to nine yards downfield. Okay, now McKinnon, this is, again, where vision comes in. Look at where McKinnon is standing. He's in the middle. He's in the eye of the hurricane, right? There's guys around him. If he cuts right off that Trey Smith block, he picks up a couple. But he puts his right foot in the ground, as you can see right now, puts his right foot in the ground, and he cuts hard toward the left-hand side. And as we run it, what you're going to see is McKinnon getting right to that hole, and now all he's got to do He's go off Smith Schuster. And as we run it the rest of the way, Juju gets in the way. Great block. DB has no chance. Touchdown, Kansas City, 11 and 3, AFC West Division champs. Look, that is a play that a lot of guys have to do their job right to make it work. Sometimes when it's a passing play, especially if it's a quick one, it's really, it really comes down to quarterback and receiver or quarterback and tight end, right? As long as the offensive line doesn't have a total disaster within two seconds, you're good. That play has to have McKinnon with really good vision and explosiveness. It's got to have four of those five offensive linemen doing a great job. Not just a good job, especially in the case of Humphrey and Smith, a great job. And Tooney did a hell of a job as well. Brown kicks his guy out and Juju down the field, right? If you're just talking about those guys, that's more than half the team. that has got to execute at a really high level or that play doesn't happen. Chiefs got it done. They get the win. You like to see them clean up a lot of things, but they win. Nobody gets hurt. They win the division. You move on to Seattle. But for the Chiefs, a great way to end a very scary day.